For many great athletes, charity work is at the forefront of what they do off the court, field, or diamond. Usually it's for their own hometowns or state. Not for NBA champion Kyrie Irving, who has been using his charity work all over the world, including South Jackson, where he donated a basketball court to the Ark. In saying thank you, one local artist, Chris Winfield, took it to another level. I'm here with Chris Winfield and Chris, uh, this mural behind me, it's Kyrie Irving. Just talk about how you made it and why you made it. I mean, I, I didn't even know that he was a part of the arc here in South Jackson. Yeah, so uh, I was commissioned to do this mural. Uh, Kyrie, he donated this uh, court right here. And um, so I was commissioned to do a kind of mural just to, you know, in his honor and just help people remember, you know, things that's going on. Um, that's Kyrie behind us, as you <laughs> see, and that's his new logo. So, um, yeah, that's that's about, about it. You know, I choose spray paint. That's what I work with. Yeah, and, and when you find out that Kyrie Irving, this multi-time all-star, NBA champion, is donating a court in Jackson, and you're the guy that's supposed to represent him on the wall. You know, wh what do you think about that? Oh, I was really excited. Uh, I definitely want to make sure I get the mirror uh, right, his likeness and everything, and uh, Kyrie's definitely one of my favorite players. So I think that was uh, a good, you know, look, too. So I enjoyed it. I had fun doing it, and I think it's a good mural to represent the good deed that he's done for the gym. Yeah, and talk about the mural itself. Obviously, everyone goes with a different style. When people sculpt things, there's mm -hmm. different types of sculpting. Yes. What, murals, same thing. For you, what kind of style did you go about with um, this? So I uh, work mostly with uh, spray paint, but I'm also mostly disciplinary. I use a lot of other stuff, but mostly murals, I do mostly spray paint. Um, I didn't really use no paint brushes for this, uh, no stencils or anything. And um, yeah, it's basically kind of just using uh, what we call the doodle, the doodle method or the lazy man grid to kind of scale the art up and uh, just kind of work my way from there and just slowly put the colors in layers by layer and until uh, you get what you see here. And what kind of reception did you get? Oh, people, they loved it. Um, I mean, mostly everyone uh, kind of knew who it was before I even finished it. I think even when I got the outline, I think people kind of knew it was Kyrie. And so I think that was a good look because that let me know that I was kind of on track with his likeness and everything. When, when I posted this on Facebook, that this had been done and that he had donated money, it became the most liked post on my Facebook. Over 60,000 likes, yeah. over 5,000 shares. Uh, the one before that that was the most liked was Deion Sanders talking about why he left Jackson State. Oh, yeah. So just to let you know <laughs> how much people right? really loved right. this idea. Not that he just donated, but the mural mm -hmm. itself. Uh, but I know you do more than just this. Mm -hmm. you, you do this. This is your, your normal job. Right. Uh, talk about what your day-to-day -day stuff. Yeah, so uh, basically I uh, work for a nonprofit called Canopy Children's Solutions that uh, focuses and helps uh, provide services with kids with autism, dyslexia, mental health and behavior problems. They have a canopy school. I also do murals for the uh, canopy school and uh, I do things with uh, video work and uh, so I'm a multimedia, multimedia specialist for uh, Canopy Children's Solutions. I enjoy it and uh, it kind of helps me, uh, you know, build up my art also because I kind of do the same thing for them also. And, um, you know, it just kind of helps build up off each other. And how'd you kind of get into this? Uh, yeah, so I've always been an artist. So I've been doing art since I was like, so since I was probably like four or five. And uh, yeah, so I do a lot of graphic design. I do comic books and things of that nature. I also do a little film work. And so uh, I just kind of wanted to, um, you know, up my... Um, up the scale and kind of, you know, the challenge and kind of go to murals. I've only been doing murals going on maybe like three or four years. So, um, yeah, but I've been doing art, you know, majority all my life. It's definitely probably been a challenge moving to, to murals, yeah. but here's my final question. And if he hasn't, I'm going to be upset and I want him to. <laughs> Has Kyrie re reached out yet and said anything? Uh, no, no, Kyrie hasn't reached out yet, but, you know, I, I definitely understand, you know, because, <laughs> you know, they in the, you know, they practicing. I'm pretty sure he's busy, man, and everything. But I have a lot of other uh, sources, people that reached out. You know, I think uh, Sports Center reached out through IG to get permission to use it and, uh, you know, to show the artwork and everything. So, yeah, so it's been um, a well, good reception. Uh, a lot of people... Um, you know, I kind of didn't know till I woke up the next, you know, day and checked my inbox and everything, so.
Well, I'm glad you uh, responded to me because because <laughs> I really wanted to come talk to you. Now, I will say, we got to get him to come sign it at some point. Oh, yeah, most Th definitely. That, that, that would be that really would be, cool, yeah. right? If he could come and you guys yes. could sign it together. I mean, I'm sure, oh, there, I can see it over there, your actual, right. your signature. Mm -hmm. You put his signature right next to yours, and I just think yeah. that would be phenomenal. Yeah, yeah that would be uh, that would be great, yeah, if that would happen. <laughs> so, <laughs> I would love that. Chris, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.